right? Me too. Yeah. So, and, and that's what I think uh, I'd go with as far as pre-order. But I don't know. That's a good point. Pre-order incentives, right? I'm going to be one of those guys. You know, like... Um, on Steam, you can give stuff to people. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like the Tekken guy. I'm gonna be giving out a million copies, copies of Tekken, like I gave out sticks to Yikes. people. Awesome. <laughs> people. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm hoping that the Lord Namcops uh, hook up a bunch of that, those Steam codes when the game finally comes out. Share the game with millions of people. Yeah, and I'm just really looking forward to having people stream it because yeah. right now it's Tag Two City. Not everyone has access. That city's so small. Yeah. It's a tiny city. Yep. It's like they have to warn people when someone's streaming tag too. Yeah. But we I got mean a straggler here. Tekken seven is gonna be a big deal, I think. Especially because people are like it's almost like a national pastime to poop on Street Fighter right now. <laughs> so I think uh Tekken Seven is gonna be huge. And we're here in the well, Forgotten well. Realm. Fight. DKF, we saw him earlier. He's got the orbitals, we're going downstairs. Nice conversion. What's he gonna do with it? Wall carry. Very close to the wall. Flash kick. Back one. Machine guns. Back one. Nice. One of uh, Brian's most important tools. Wow, you gotta be ready for that snake edge. I like how you said important tools and the snake edge came out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it worked. Low soccer kick. Wow, we have a we have a good match here. So DKF probably found out really. The weakness to insert points play is to go nuts. Snake edges. Oh. Wow! Nice. What a Textbook crush use of the orbital heal. Now we're all the way downstairs. We're not going to get any more floor breaks. No duck on the highs in either string. Our nice. class. Oh, no punish there. And that is negative orbital. 14, I believe. So 14 Brian, yeah. Yeah, Brian should be able to get the, the jet upper if he's on point. Round three. Fight. Hey, did you hear this bullshit? Nice block. What bullshit? Is that Mr. Naps is not going to Evo? What? Yeah. Why? I, heard. I don't know. That's what the word is on the internet. That's weird. He's oh, because he's busy. Yeah. yeah, I think he told me it's something really important. Oh, then that, that will take precedence over that. But we already know we're going to see him at the King of Iron Fist tournament later this year, the North American qualifier. Yeah, I think he told me what it was, and I don't remember what it is. I think it's something pretty important, though, like something family-related. Well, that just means that someone else from North America is going to have to step it up. Yeah. Last year, he was the sole representative in the top eight for Tekken 7. So I'm calling Punko for top eight at EVO. You think so? Yeah, he's a cheater. He's a cheater, and he's been practicing so hard. I think he's going to go for it. I know. It'd be nice to actually see Akuma in the top eight because, you know, I mean, he's not a traditional Tekken character. I think it would be nice if he did it too because it would be really... Um, it helped the game out. Yeah, it would help the game out a lot, especially for Street Fighter players. To see yeah. Punko do that well as a new Tekken player would be awesome. Two rounds apiece here between DKF and Insert Coin. Yeah, this is definitely a good fight. Yeah. Evenly matched players. And we were just talking about Punko. Obviously, if he makes top eight, that's going to be a, a great story for the FTC. Yeah. And just for Tekken in general, but... There's the time frame too, so when is Korea gonna get it? I don't know. I know Japanese arcades will get it in early, early July. Very, we're actually like a week yeah, away. We're a week close. away from it. So we're gonna see a ton of information on the internet. And I don't know, will Kuku like how it changes? Will he like the changes to Akuma? I, I can't imagine so. he, I so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine him dislike it. It actually would complement his play style to have more options. Yeah. Nice orbital there on Okazumi, got him to duck. <laughs> And narrowly escapes with that victory. DKF going up one to zero. Insert coins definitely was close there, but couldn't quite seal the deal. The seal is broken. Welcome Let's see what adjustments he's gonna make. It's always really uh, stressful in a with a new game. I was talking about it earlier. How I, to me, I always see fighting games as like a two two sided coin. You have to really learn the game outside of the clutch, but then in tournament, sometimes your first tournament feels like you're playing a new game. I, I am with you on the two-sided coin yeah. part. You can't get head every single time. <laughs> you gotta get tail? Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Come on, though. Anyways, we're into it. Here we go. Dragon's Nest stage. Let's see how this turns out. You know, as a Tekken fan, so this weekend, once we go to the big ring mm -hmm. on uh, Twitch.tv slash CEO Gaming, it's going to be Sunday, I believe, I think 10 yeah. or 10, 11 a.m. That's going to be awesome. But once that happens, I'm really excited. I'm not doing commentary. It's going to be you and Steve doing yeah. top eight, and I can't wait to see that as a fan. 
Yeah, usually it's you and me. This time you're sitting out, huh? I'm sitting it out. I want to be able to watch and experience it. I got to take some pictures. I'm down. Sounds good. Oh, here we go. And the low. They've been working out. Oh, no. Good block. Too late on that. It looks like Insert Coins is trying to... He's struggling to crack DKF's defense. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of options that he has. I mean, there's a lot of low moves that Lars has that he hasn't really been employing. He hasn't been doing the shoe shine. Yeah, oh, shoe wow. shine would be his best choice at this juncture because defense. Be launch punish yeah, no launch punish. That's the problem. There you go, mid get up kick, gets the round. But he has to watch out for that ever present orbital heal. Oh yeah. Good throw break. Ouch. Okay. Also, insert coins is going to want to not duck unless he sees the down forward three, the snake edge. Oh, no. This is going to hurt. Not quite kill, but gets him within range. He's got Rage Assault, though. And not quite enough. And insert coins is one round away from being out of here. Why did an unfortunate turn? He oh! Was making, he was making quite the run in Lucas bracket. Let's see if he's able to hold on here. It's not over yet. You got that clutch low parry. Yeah, not just that. It started raining. Slippery when wet. Okay. Better than nothing. Okay. Defense. Just blocking would go a long way here for insert coin. Wow. Oh, nice. Able to pull out another low. The oh. orbital baited the low. He's still alive. Wrong combo, but he gets the reset. That worked out for him. Yeah. That was an interesting spike. Only able to get that follow up there because he got it by the wall. Otherwise, yep. that would not have picked up at all. Exactly. Okay. Insert coins wiggling around still. Orbital block. Orbital of, of his own. I mean, I didn't know it would be a heal fight. Oh! No whiff punish on the throw. Oh! oh! Wow! What a can, trade! Can you imagine that both players go for the orbital heal and they I know. cross, but Brian coming out on top. Oh, shoe shine! He finally did it! No! Wow! What a good orbital there! Yeah, he was using orbital like two yeah. dragon punch. Nice that, that work. Big handshake, good work. Insert coins, licking his wounds there. You gotta always be mindful of orbital heal. It is definitely a dangerous tool, one of the most dangerous tools for Brian. Agreed.